okay, I'm here in Unreal Engine, and I've got one of our foliages pulled up in its uh, static mesh viewer. Now this mesh can be animated with its vertices, and right now we've selected some vertices that are able to be animated and some vertices that cannot be. So you can see how down here at the base, it's not moving, and at the top, it's all wiggling in the wind. So we can use that across all of our foliage assets to populate a field of these things that blow in the wind in some kind of synchronization. It's a pretty low cost way to animate these, these low resolution, low polygon shapes, but it really does give the illusion that these things are blowing in the wind all around us. So to tell Unreal where on our 3D object we want to animate and where we want to leave static, we need to do something in Blender called vertex painting. So to do this, we're gonna select our object. I'm gonna do this one at a time. I'm gonna go up to vertex paint. And I recommend if you don't already have it open, go to your active tool and workspace settings. And what we're gonna do is see how we can paint different colors on our mesh. Okay, I'm just kind of painting some colors. And what I can see is if I go to my material viewport, I'm not really changing anything to do with the shader. What vertex painting is, is it's storing color information on each of the vertices of our mesh. So if we look at vertex mode in edit mode, we can see each one of these points is a vertice, or a vertex rather, and each one can hold color information. So if we select everything here and go back to vertex mode using tab, I now wanna fill everything with black because I want to tell Unreal that I want everything that is black to be animated. So I'm gonna hit Shift K and it's gonna fill everything with black. Now remember, we want our stem or whatever is kind of planted in the ground to stay still. So what we can do is the opposite of black. We can then paint white coming from the bottom and we can even fade this down if we bring our strength. We'll paint in between and I'm rotating around because I wanna make sure I'm painting all the vertices as we walk around here. And I can go back to object mode. You can see there's not much different going on, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this for each of my objects. So I'm gonna select it, go into edit mode, then go to vertex mode, and with black selected, 100% black, shift K, make my brush white. You can also do this down here. And I'm gonna paint at the bottom here. You can see it looks a little funny. It doesn't always look like it's even, Remember, we have to hit the vertices. And if we go back to edit mode, you can see kind of where some of these funny triangles are happening. We need to come up here and paint that vertice. Vertex, you might have to orbit around and try it from a few angles. We actually need to turn that strength back up to 100% because we don't want that bottom moving. But now it's gonna have a nice fade. So we can go back to object mode. Grab our third variation, go into edit mode, make sure all the vertices are selected, and go back to vertex paint mode. Select black, shift K, back to white, 100% strength. Maybe knock it down and bring some fade in so we have a gradual transition to where it's gonna be animated. And lastly, select our object, make sure all the vertices are selected in edit mode. Go back to vertex paint, fill it with black using shift K. Okay, and some white, starting at the bottom. Have strength. 
especially because this is such a stubby plant, we don't want it flying too far. Instead of strength, you can also use shades of gray. And now that we have these painted out, we're going to be ready to move on to final scaling and exporting to Unreal Engine.